and this video will cover a few more uh, local ASCII formats. Uh, let's select text files. We'll select this unusual named file. Uh, pull the uh, file dialog into view and we can see that this file is set up with a uh, uh, a name field and this is a date time field and we can tell it's a date time field as opposed to a date field because there's no field separator bar between the month day year portion and the uh, time portion so we're going to skip the first field because we're not going to use it and the second field is a date time uh, then we'll immediately go over here and select the proper uh, uh, date time format and that's this format here we have months days and years hours minutes and this file has seconds so we'll select that we'll finish flushing out open high uh, low and if you select the wrong field and try and click it uh, you'll get an error because we had two highs and uh, no close Uh, we'll load 300 bars, uh, leave the multiplier uh, at 1. We don't have to reverse this data, so we'll just click OK. And that populates the chart. We'll open a new chart with local ASCII, and we'll use another uh, file format here. Okay, this file is set up uh, date, time, open, high, low, close. It has a volume and an adjusted uh, close field, I believe, or uh, whatever that is. But we're going to choose to ignore it. So we want to match the fields exactly with the fields in the file. So we're going to select date, time, open, high, low, and close. And this is month month, day, year, uh, separated by the uh, forward slashes, month, day, year, and the format is hours and minutes. Uh, we don't have to reverse the data. We have one header line. Uh, we'll load 300, uh, price multiplier of one. Click the bar and we're ready to go. If there's no format uh, string available, then you're going to have to set it up yourself. And you can do that with the uh, ASCII uh, date format strings. Uh, but again, the trick here is that you have to enter precisely the right symbols. And you can see that there's, uh, you know, uppercase M's, smaller case M's, uppercase H's, smaller case H's. And it gets a little confusing. Uh, but we'll cover that again in detail on the online help file. Uh, just important at this time to know that you can customize your date and time format strings so that you should be able to use uh, just about any ASCII file that you come across. And again, whether it's from ASCII or from uh, Yahoo, you can swap mm -hmm. between uh, candlesticks and bars at any time and full functionality uh, applies to any chart. All right, that covers the uh, ASCII uh, details, and the next video will cover the commands on the uh, Hearst method.